Let's see. This probably has some juicy details. Ryu Aoki, current governor of Tokyo, age 42. That's even the same age as the young master. Don't freak out. Maybe it's all a coincidence. Hmm. Says Aoki was a shut-in until he was 20. Then he suddenly took off for America. He took political econ courses at Harvard, where he became close friends with Hajime Ogasawara. Then they came back to Japan. You know, I think they founded Bleach Japan that year. Maybe by then he was already making all his shadowy plans. Ugh. Bleach Japan's agenda is hardly shadowy. In fact, it was pretty damn heartwarming for lots of folks. Seeing those youngsters demand decency, and Aoki's popularity skyrocketed. He was on magazine covers, on TV. He was in the public eye every day. Got a gig as a commentator eventually. That's right, and then he entered politics. He left Ogasawara in charge of Bleach Japan. Looks like he didn't win the governor race by a landslide exactly, but now his approval rating is 80%. Plus, he's got no political enemies. Life's good for him. Are there any articles that say he has another name? That's what I want to know. I don't see anything like that. But I still think you're jumping to conclusions. I wouldn't write off what Kasuga's saying, though. Uh, there's a lot of stuff that make perfect sense if it turned out Masato Arakawa is the governor. Y yeah? Like what? Like his sudden gain in political support that I was just talking about. That was all because he destroyed the Tojo clan with his Kamurocho 3K plan. Was that the plan to wipe out all the Yakuza? Yeah. After he rolled it out, the Tojo officers vanished from the city like so much smoke in the wind. Vanished? Yeah. I mean, they probably just fled the city out of panic. They knew they were on the verge of getting busted. The 3K plan enacted a bunch of new anti-Yakuza laws. The cops had a smorgasbord of violations to pick from. They could have booked the whole damn Tojo clan. So yeah, I assume the officers skipped town when they saw the cloud of charges hovering over them. Definitely sounds like they were backed into a corner. Right. Although it wasn't really the 3K plan itself that made them feel trapped. It was more because the Tojo's internal affairs got leaked to the police. And I'd bet my life the guy who leaked it was Masumi Arakawa. <gasps> you think the patriarch of the Arakawa family colluded with the governor? Well, if the governor is Masato like Kasuga thinks, then it's all in the family. <laughs> Forget collusion. That's just plain nepotism. Hey, it would also give Arakawa a reason to betray his clan. Well, he was more loyal to his son than he was to the Tojo clan. Most men would be. Most men, yes, but not Arakawa-san. Well, if you say so, but you have to admit, my theory makes sense. Arakawa is human. And what's more human than wanting the best for your child? Parents, even Yakuza parents, will do anything for their kids. One thing I don't get, how did the young master hide his past? A Yakuza can't become governor. Well, maybe he bought a family register. You can just buy one? Yep. Well, it's easier to create a fictional person than you think. Yeah. Doctor up a photo, slap on a false name, and file a fake official register. I mean, you can get by on that for a good while. As long as no one takes a deep look at your file, of course. Otherwise, it falls apart real quick. Well, of course it does, if it's all lies. Right, but if you altered an existing register, instead of making one from scratch, the lies wouldn't be so obvious. Now, I'm thinking there was probably an actual shut-in named Ryo Aoki. Masato bought or stole Aoki's family register and is impersonating him. Is taking someone else's family register really that simple? I never said it was simple, but it is possible, especially if you've got money or the right connections. Don't you think, Kasuga? The young master would have had the money and connections to do it. So yeah, I can see it. But why would he go to all that trouble? To hide his Yakuza background, so he could be governor. The public would never accept a politician with Yakuza roots. 
Ichiban, who told you that Masato was dead? One of my senpai from middle school, back in Kamurocho. It was just the other day, actually. Maybe the Arakawa family started spreading that rumor around themselves. Hold on! Hold the hell on! What? What is it? The young master couldn't walk. He used a wheelchair. The governor can walk. Oh, then they can't be the same person. How could he hide a disability like that? Well, the article said Aoki studied abroad in the U.S., right? Maybe he got surgery there. No, the doctor said he was wheelchair-bound for life. Well, maybe here in Japan that's true. But sometimes you can get procedures done in the U.S. that uh, aren't available here. Hey, who's the guy who looks like there's a stick up his ass? That's the police commissioner, Orinouchi. Oh, your eternal rival. <laughs> I think I've seen him before. What? Sometime before I went to prison. Uh, but when was it? Oh, right! I saw him at a cabaret club I took the young master to. Yeah, Horino Uchi was this dude that the young master's favorite girl was in love with. Ah, so the governor and the police commissioner used to be rivals in love. <laughs> Bet that made for a awkward meeting. Yeah, I'm sure they remember each other, especially if Ichiban does. I wonder what all went down. Damn, Kamro's just looking like a pretty big piece of the puzzle now. But I can't really put it all together yet. Confusing-ass mess. Well, no point in dwelling on it right now. Let's call it a day. I'm beat. But guys, remember what Mabuchi said? The Omi Alliance is going to invade. You can sleep after hearing that? Hell yeah. It's not like we can do anything about it when we're tired. Good point. Let's head back and hit the hay. We don't even need to head back. Huh? Hey, barkeep. Remember when I asked you about that room on the second floor? Oh yeah, I cleaned it up for you. It's all yours. <laughs> nice. Thanks. What room? There's some vacant space on the second floor. Right, they're using it for storage right now, but I asked if we could use it as a hideout. I mean, your place definitely has its mood and all, but it was, uh, getting kind of cramped. Here we'll have more room. Plus, at night, we can drink down here and then just stumble up to bed. How's that for convenience? Uh, yeah, it is great, but... You sure you're okay with this, pal? Yeah. Whatever. Room wasn't being used for anything, so it's no skin off my nose. Besides... I don't know how, but I heard you're fighting for the people of this town. And well, I'm not so desperate that I can't offer a shabby old room to a hero and his party. Wow, dude. Thanks! We'll keep the room as neat as you keep your bourbon. Hmm. <laughs> Smooth. <laughs> wow. Enough with the whiskey puns, you two. You will drive me to drink! <laughs> hey. If you don't like my jokes, you can forget about using the rum. <laughs> Damn!
Yeah. Hey. Okay. <laughs> hey. Kasuga-san, guess what? I finally got more details on that rumor. What rumor? You know, the one I mentioned earlier? Trust me, you're gonna wanna hear this. Hey, if it's juicy, let's hear it. So, I heard this from a customer, but apparently there's a small shipping company called Zhou Long Trading over on Eugene Street. And if you tell the guy working there a certain password, he'll let you into a top secret weapon shop. This shop's not legal, is it? Doubt it. According to the rumors, he's pretty much cornered the black market. So, if you need anything dangerous and illegal, he's your go-to guy. Whoa. Sounds intense. I know, right? I bet he's got the coolest stuff. Hey, what do you think this guy looks like? You think he's one of those sexy anti-hero types? <sighs> If only I could meet a guy like that. You think he'd want to say hi to me? No, that's probably not a good idea. Something tells me he's more villain than anti-hero. Meh, he say so. Anyway, you have any idea what his password might be? Oh, let me think. It was... Lao Chow Chow Ya. There we go. Love Choo Choo Ya? Wrong. Lao Chow Chow Ya. I'm clueless as to what it means, if anything at all. Lao Chow Chow Ya. And I just say it to the dude who works there? Well, do keep in mind this is all hearsay, but where there's smoke, there's fire. So, some of it might be true. And besides, even if he does turn out to be a villain, you're strong enough to make it out alive. Appreciate the vote of confidence. I guess it wouldn't hurt to check it out. Thanks for the tip. Now, if he really is my type, Nice body, a little on the wild side. Hook me up with a date. Uh, 
いらっしゃいませ。ありがとうございました。いらっしゃいませ。ありがとうございました。
I'm not big on bullying, but I got this. Don't get caught. Let's go. Here we go. Here we go. I 
Isn't this where people have been seeing that masked killer? Huh? Oh yeah, that sign! It's the same one from the video, right? <gasps> wow, you're right! No way! This place is iconic! We should look around a bit. What if he's actually here? Yeah, let's go! Did she say iconic? I'd get it if this place was in a movie or TV show or something, but not for some murderer. Tell me about it. Michan's place has gotten reservations canceled because of it. Seriously? This rumor's becoming a real problem. All this talk about a masked killer sounds crazy. Are they for real? Maybe that guy could fill me in. Sup? Hmm? <laughs> yeah. Got it. 